Hey guys, Ryan here from Rugged Outdoors. What's going on? Uh, Wilderness Ginger is behind the camera today. So, some of you have probably seen like on Instagram uh, from me and Lindsay's account that I've been working on a chicken coop. We recently got uh, 10 chickens. Um, we're only keeping six. Three of them are going to her mom. Um, they're about six weeks old almost. Uh, they're all brown egg layers, different varieties. So we'll get into that more later, but the coop is finally finished. Uh, I just finished it up this morning. So we're gonna take a quick walk through and I'll show you what I did. Uh, all the materials that I used for this were stuff that you can get at the big box stores, uh, besides maybe Tractor Supply where I got the netting. But I used all premium fur, uh, two by fours and plywood. And the netting is a one inch by one inch galvanized 16 gauge. Total, pretty much a thousand dollars even to make this coop. Um, but it's gonna last a long time and was well worth it. So um, let's take a look. All my, everything on here that's metal is galvanized. Um, all the hinges, all the gate hardware. Um, I have gate latches here that have a, a carabiner on them uh, just to keep you know anything from popping the door open, raccoons, things with hands, that kind of thing. Um, so let's take a look inside. Push that, door comes open. So the total run area is six by 12 goes underneath the coop itself so you know we have windows everywhere um, I put chains on everything um, so you can adjust the height of the windows blah 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 um, we have a ramp here with a chicken door to go in the coop which we have a chicken guard automatic door opener um, that I purchased on Amazon um, which can be set with a timer you can time what time you want it to open and close you can do it by light sensor um, or a combination of both um, I'll kind of show you, you can open it or close it at any time. You push a button, door's closing now. I made the whole door system. You can buy a pre-made locking door, um, but I chose to make it myself. So the door opens and closes. Um, everything's sealed inside so the chickens can't get in anything. Um, we'll open it back up. Um, the ramp I made so you can hinge it to the ceiling. There's a little hook on here for easy cleaning. The only thing I didn't show you was the feed and water system. Um, I made some PVC feeders. If you guys have any questions about um, what I use and how I made them, um, I can answer any questions you have. Just leave them in the comments, message me, whatever. So I have some two four inch PVC feeders and a one inch water bar with the poultry nipples on it. Um, so if they peck the middle of those nipples, the water drips out and they drink it. Um, so I, I made up that whole thing. Um, and there's a flush system on so I can flush the system all out. Um, I think it's going to work out pretty well. Uh, this is the egg hutch. Um, you can see there's a window up here too. Um, all the windows have like kind of a Bermuda shutter. Um, that way it keeps the weather out. And if I want to lock this thing down in the winter, um, I can seal this thing right out to keep the drafts out. Um, I designed all the windows, just show you on the other ones, where the plywood comes beyond the frame. That way, and there's plywood here, which fills that hole. So when I close this down, that's sealed. Um, is, chickens are very resilient to, to cold, but um, if there's drafts, if they can get wind chill, then that could be a problem. So. Um, again, a gate latch on here. Um, this is just folds down, and this is where the this is the nesting box where the chickens will lay their eggs. Um, I have it screened off for now because they're not going to be old enough to lay eggs yet, so I don't want to keep them out of there. But as soon as they're ready to lay, I'll pull that screen off. We'll put some hay in here, and they'll come in here, lay their eggs. And if you want to come get them, you just come out, open this up, grab the eggs, and you're good to go. So again, this is all sealed. Um, when I close this, sealed up. Um, I have, I believe it's uh, 16 gauge uh, metal roofing. It's uh, painted, galvanized. They just get from the box stores. Um, I put some on here, I put some on the windows. It's covering the full roof. Um, it should last for a while. So, uh, working around to this side. Um, this is where we get access to the main coop area. Um, again, windows with chain adjusters. Um, in the summer, we'll open these right up and give them some good ventilation. Um, everything has bolt locks on it, so we can lock everything down. 
Um, so again, gate latch, uh, keepers on here, so you can lock this thing right open. There's uh, bolt locks inside here to open this door up. And here's the, the coupe area. Um, let me lock that open. <laughs> Well closed. Um, <clears throat> this is removable, so if we want to clean this out, just pull this out. And you can rake everything right out into a cart, into a wheelbarrow, um, and clean the whole thing. I have PVC in here um, just to help keep the moisture out of the wood. Um, nesting bar. Um, this is seven feet long. We have six chickens. So there should be enough roosting for them. I may add one up up here a little bit higher. Um, we use an industrial hemp um, deep litter system, which uh, is more expensive than say, like if you're using pine shavings or something like that. But we start with a few inches of material. The chickens will, will naturally peck it over and mix it in as they, you know, uh, poop in there. They'll mix it in, it'll sink to the bottom, and it'll start um, mulching, it'll start decomposing. And, uh, and you, you can, if it starts to get you know really bad, you can just put a little bit of litter on top, and you can go like two years without changing out this litter. Um, it turns to a natural compost, and it doesn't smell. Um, so it's the way to go. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's very low maintenance. Um, the chickens kind of take care of them themselves. Um, so very low maintenance. And you get in here once in a while, pull the roosting bar out, clean that off, you know, clean areas where they pooped, you know, or whatever, but very low maintenance. Um, I have a heat lamp in the corner there. I just stuck there um, for when we first bring them out. If we end up having a cold, cold, cold night, and they're not quite used to the cold temperatures. We've been kind of weaning them down, but I have a chair that I can turn that on if I need to. Um, the door system, uh, that's all sealed. So when that door closes, they're locked in there and they can't get at the contraption, you know, the, the pull cord that pulls the door up and down, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's all sealed, it's all good. Um, again, around the edge, I have this thing all the way around. So when these doors close, this thing is sealed. Even like on this door, there's a surface for that door to close against. Um, so everything is sealed tight. Put this back down. Yeah, everything works really nicely. Um, here's the drain for the water system. So if I want to flush it out, um, I can do that. Just open the valve on the end and you can flush some water out of there. Uh, <clears throat> so going around to this side, um, you can see you have a gutter system on here. We're doing a rain catchment water system. So all their water um, is gonna come from rain catchment. I just have a bucket here now because my rain barrel isn't gonna be in for until this week sometime. So I temporarily hooked this up so we can get the chickens in there. And I just wanna make sure everything works, blah, 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 blah. So um, put my rain barrel will sit here and I have an adjustable gutter thing. I run the gutter right into that. So uh, 55 gallons of water um, for them to drink. Um, <clears throat> next is the feeders. Um, these are four inch PVC tubes. And all it is is tubes going down, 45, or 90, and some gutter uh, downspout attachments on the end. Um, caps just pop off. I put chains on them so you can pop that off. I'm going to have a couple drums here with the feed and stuff. Pour it in, fill it right up. I mean, these two feeders will last six chickens probably, I don't know, a few weeks probably anyway. Um, something like that, especially while they're young. So we can you know, we can go away if we need to. I mean, everything here is automated. The door will open in the morning. They'll come out. They can eat, drink, um, do whatever they got to do. And you train them at night when the sun starts going down. They'll go right back in the coop. The door will shut and low maintenance. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, gutter, eventually rain barrel. Um, you can see the metal roof on top. Uh, this is a 
flat roof, basically. Um, it's about a foot of pitch from end to end. Um, enough to shed the water off, but it doesn't roll too fast. I'm gonna put some gutter screens in here to help keep it cleaner. Rain barrel has uh, a screen attachment on the top of it anyway, so it'll screen out any debris that goes in there. Um, so, that's about it. Okay. Look at this pro on the, on the, what do you call it, ramp? <laughs> we got chickens out here. We've been out here for a little bit, checking stuff out. Chick -chick. There's nine of them. There's uh, four barred rocks, three uh, golden Comet. comets, and a Australop, and a Jersey Giant. It's one of the barred rocks. Barred rocks are crazy, they're like partiers. Oh yeah. Wait, look at that. What is it? They've already mastered the ramp. And uh, the water bar, they're all pecking and getting water. They learn so fast. Like they're eating, they're drinking water out of the water bar. They've never drank out of a water bar before, but as soon as one of them figures it out, they all figure it out. He's like, I'm just gonna lay here. <laughs> <laughs> you tired, what are you bro? What doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Mm. He's like getting tired after one step. Mm -hmm. He has to take a break. They all have names too. Sometimes it's hard to figure out which one's which, but this one's Zazu. Zazu. That's Zazu. That's Annabelle. Annabelle. This one's Pepper, I think. And there's, oh, there's Fireball, of course. Fireball. Yep. Look at their drinking out of the feeder. I mean, the waterer. Yep. Pretty cool. Yeah, so we're just hanging out with the chicks. Um, one thing I failed to mention was we did critter proof this very well. Um, obviously everything's netted, locked up, good, good to go. But I buried a um, two foot wide strip of this galvanized netting all the way around the coop. And there's um, a thick black, or black filter fabric underneath that. Um, so if something came and tried to dig underneath to get in here, um, they can't. So um, everything's rock solid. The chickens are going to love it. So if you guys have any questions about anything about the coop, um, leave a comment, message me on Instagram, whatever. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope this, you know, maybe gets you to want to get some chickens and, and do this kind of thing. So we'll give you updates from now and then. Uh, until next time, Rocket Wilderness Ginger. See you on the next one, guys.